Hey guys, so my note card system I showed you all and I'm going to show you a way that I thought of today to kind of mimic it but for a whole lot cheaper for those of you that don't have the money to go buy the organization box and the organization tabs and the note cards right now. So here is my tipper, whatever you'd like to call it. So I don't have a folder handy. I'm sure I have one, but I wasn't going to spend half the day looking for a folder. So I'm just going to use my notebook to kind of give an example. Um, so what I would do is I would take a couple pieces of printer paper. If you have construction paper, like the colored ones, that would work even better. But basically what I would do is, hang on, let me get a pencil, is I would take it and I would write something like Sunday on the top of one. I don't know why you can't see this. Sunday on the top of one and then Monday on the top of a different one and then so on and so forth. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, on the top of each of them. And then you can put all of the dividers in your folder and then take a piece of just notebook paper or another piece of printer paper and write down, hang on, I can't pick it up, and write down your potentials. So for example, um, like basically what I would have on the note card. So I would write down like Sam Smith. And then I would write down Facebook PDT. And then I move on to the next one. And I would do Sarah Jones. Sorry, you can't really see me writing. Okay, Sarah Jones, Facebook, Wraps. And then. I would just make a big list all on the same paper, like I said, notebook paper or printer paper. And then if they were going to order on Friday, so make each of these ones that would be the same day. So Friday. So then I would go to where I have Friday. This is really hard to do and hold the phone, uh, camera. So then I'd put them behind Friday and I'd put them in. And then when I got to Friday, I'd pull out the paper with everyone's names on it. And I'd be like, okay, Sarah Smith. And I'd message Sarah Smith. And then I'd do, okay, Sarah Jones. And I'd message Sarah Jones. And i see what they have on here. Now, if they order right then, I would write ordered. And then the date. I think today's the 14th. And then I'd move on. If they were like, hey, can you put me down for next month? I would simply write Feb on this and then do an asterisk and say in Feb folder. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So I'd write that they wanted to be in February now. And I'd write that I also noted that in my February folder, which I'll explain in just a second. So then next week, I know, oh, this one ordered up. Oh, this one is going to order in February. And then if there's another one, Ashley. I don't know another last name. Okay, so then Ashley is, let's say, Instagram and stretch mark cream. Um... By the way, aren't these cool pencils? They have like five colors in them. It's cool. I love it. Anyways, um, so let's say Ashley didn't order, didn't respond, whatever. Then I would leave her. And then obviously next week I come back. and I'm like, oh, that one ordered. Oh, that one I moved to February. Okay, cool. Let me message this one. Or if she, um, if she was like, hey, I get paid on Tuesday, then I would honestly just cross her out. And then I would put her on a different paper for Tuesday and put that in the Tuesday divider. 
So it would be like divider, Monday. And then on Monday, I would look through and be like, oh, all these people I need a message. And then it'd be like divider that says Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, I'd be like, oh, all these people I need a message. And then it'd be like divider Wednesday. I'd be like, oh, all these people I need a message. Now, to this Friday is the 15th. So let's say that I needed to message all these people on Friday, but this one was the 15th, this one was the 15th, and this one wasn't till, I guess, next Friday would be the 21st, then I would just write 21st Jan. So that's why I knew not to message them this Friday because we had talked about next Friday. But this is basically saving you from having 1 through 31. This is just making it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, it's also letting you put all of this just in a folder. And then, um, for the next months, like I said, I have, like, baggies with February, so on and so forth. What I would do is, on this side of your folder, I would have the ones you're currently working through. And then, on this side of your folder, I would have February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, all the way through to December. And have just a piece of paper behind them where you can make a list so when it comes to February you know to pull that out and put them down on the Friday page or whatever date that they had said. Now this is not as simple and whatnot as this but it is easier in my opinion than the whole um than the planner because this one <clears throat> Let's say you were looking at this on Friday, you messaged all these people. When you come back next Friday, you see the same list of people, so you know to follow up with them again. It's not like with the planner where you had them down on the 15th, and then you turn the page of the planner, and you never see their names again. When you come back next Friday, they're all still there, just like with this. Just like when I message all these people on Friday, I'm going to move them into next Friday. And then when I message all of them next Friday, I'll move them into the Friday after that. So this is kind of the same thing. Like I said, I would put this in like just a two pocket folder. This side I would have the, the uh, following months. So if someone's like, I can order, but not until March, then I put them behind a divider that says March. And this side I would have the days of the week and I would just make a list of people. Um, you still have the ability to put notes. So if you're like PDT and then like an asterisk, something about like wants money for their family. Okay, well then when you go to follow up with them, you know their why. So it's easier to like make that connection again and stuff like that. Or if you've been following up and then all of a sudden someone's sick or death in the family, you can make that note. And so this way next time you follow up, you know what's going on and you can still be personable, not just, are you ready to join the team? And then be like, last week, I just told you that my dog died and I wasn't able to do anything because my dog died. Like, you know what I mean? So I hope that this made sense at all. If you have questions, which I'm sure you guys are going to have lots of questions about this, let me know. Um, so ideally, the only thing you would need to buy in this case is a folder if you don't have one printer paper if you don't have printer paper, construction paper if you want construction paper instead of printer paper, um, notebook paper if you don't have notebook paper. Basically, you just need a folder, which is like a dollar, and then something to make dividers and something to write on. Um, chances are you already have a notebook, so that shouldn't be too hard. Um, but yeah, so this would be a lot cheaper than this because I can guarantee you that this box with the little to make everything stand up and all that I guarantee you I paid over twenty dollars the dividers I think I paid somewhere between like three to six dollars and then the note cards I have three packs of note cards that I've used already um well two and a half one I'm still using but I'm pretty sure note cards are like anywhere from like two to five dollars for a pack of a hundred of them so this is a little bit more expensive it works so good and it is so amazing but if you're just getting started and you're like, I don't have a penny to my name, this might be an easier thing for you to do. So like I said, ask me questions if you don't understand something about what I was trying to explain because I don't have a physical folder in front of me and I can't show you physically what it was. Um, ask questions and I'd be happy to help answer them.